X Limited acquired a business worth rupees 10 lakh from Y Limited for a purchase consideration of 11 lakh. So we are paying more. Therefore, goodwill is going to arise. The consideration was the, was settled by the issue of 9% preference shares of 100 each. Past journal entries in the books of X. So first for taking over of the business, business purchase or I'm just calling it sundry assets in this case, many assets, sundry assets account debit 10 lakhs. Two, vendor X limit. This is in the books of X limited. Past journal entries in the books of X. So in the books of X limited, sundry assets account debit two Y limited 11 lakh. Y limited is 11 lakh. Sundry assets debit 10 lakh. Therefore, the difference is going to be debited to goodwill account. Goodwill account debit 1 lakh. This is the purchase consideration due. Now, what do we have to give Y limited? We settled by the issue of 9% preference shares of rupees 100 each, assumed to be at par. So, what will be the number of shares? equal to 11 lakh divided by 100 per share we are talking of 11,000 shares therefore entry there is no it's been issued at par entry would be y limited account debit to 9% preference share capital What are we talking about? 11,000 shares into 100 each. 11 lakhs. Next, let us consider another example. X Limited acquired assets worth 10 lakh from Y Limited for a purchase consideration of 9 lakh. The consideration was settled by the issue of 9% preference shares of 100 each past journal entries in the books of X. So it's very similar here. Here also the only difference is that the assets worth 10 lakhs were taken but we are paying only 9 lakh. Therefore 1 lakh is going to be capital reserve. What would be the entry? Sundry assets debit 10 lakh. 2 y limited 9 lakh therefore 2 capital reserve 1 lakh to settle y limited's account it would be y limited account debit here also preference shares of 100 each so y limited account debit to 9% preference share capital Again, what would be the number of shares? Number of shares would be 9 lakh being the purchase consideration divided by 100 per share. We are talking of 9,000 shares. Therefore, 9,000 into 10, 9 lakh. This is simple since the shares are being issued in both cases, example A and example B at par. Let us now consider a variation when shares are being issued at premium or at a discount. <clears throat> X Limited acquired assets worth 10 lakh from Y Limited and the consideration was settled by the issue of equity shares of 10 each at a discount of 20% past journal entries in the books of X. X Limited acquired assets worth 10 lakhs from Y Limited. The consideration was settled by the issue of equity shares of 10 each at a discount of 20%. So since assets have been acquired, sundry assets account debit 10 lakh to Y Limited 10 lakh. Next, shares are being issued. What would be the number of shares issued? Number of shares would be equal to 10 lakh purchase consideration divided by the issue price per share, which is rupees 8. How do we get rupees 8? Rupees 10 each less 20% discount, 
20 percent of 10 is 2 10 minus 2 we get an issue price of 8 so this is nothing but purchase consideration by issue price per share 10 lakh divided by 8 per share we get 1,25,000 shares. 1,25,000 shares. So what would be the entry now? We are talking of 1,25,000 shares. Therefore, share capital is going to be credited with 1,25,000 into face value, that is into 10. At the same time, there is discount. What would be the discount? Discount would be 1,25,000 shares into 2 per share into 2 per share. Here face value is 10. Discount is 2. So let us see what is the entry. Why limited's account has to be debited? Why limited account has to be debited with what is due? That is 10 lakh. Discount on issue of shares debit. Discount is a capital loss on issue of shares. 2. Equity share capital. Equity share capital is going to be 1,25,000 shares into face value 10. Therefore, that's going to be 12,50,000. Discount on issue of shares is going to be how many shares? 1,25,000 shares into rupees 2 per share. We are talking of 2,50,000. So our accounting entry is Y limited account debit 10 lakh discount on issue of shares debit 2 lakh 50,000 to equity share capital 12 lakh 50,000. Sundry assets debit to Y limited 10 lakhs. That is the price that has been settled. There is no goodwill, no capital reserve. However, when Y is given shares, Y is given shares at a discount, a 10 rupee share for rupees 8. Therefore, Y basically needs to be given more number of shares. Y limited account debit for the purchase consideration for the amount which is payable. Discount on issue of shares account debit with the number of shares into the discount per share to equity share capital, number of shares into face value. But how did we arrive at the number of shares? With the purchase consideration payable divided by issue price per share. 10 lakh divided by 8, 8 rupees per share. Since rupees 10 less 20%. Less 2 rupees discount. Next, X limited acquired assets worth 10 lakh from Y limited at a purchase consideration of 10 lakh 50,000. The consideration was settled by the issue of shares of 10 each at a premium of 5%. Past journal entry is in the box of X. First, we will make purchase consideration due. Next, we will settle. We will not try to combine the two. two. We do not mix up premium of 5% with this difference in purchase consideration. Here what has happened? Assets worth 10 lakh is being taken from Y Limited, but the consideration we are paying is 10 lakh 50,000. 10 lakh 50,000. So we are paying more, therefore, goodwill will arise. So our entry in this case would be assets account debit. We are talking of 10 lakh. Goodwill account debit. It's 50,000 because we are going to pay Y limited 10 lakh 50,000. This is one entry. Next, the consideration is settled by the issue of equity shares of 10 each at a premium of 5%, which means the value of each share is going to be 10 plus 5% of 50 paise, giving us a rupees 10.50 per share. This is the issue price per share. So how many shares will be issued? We will issue 10 lakh 50 thousand purchase consideration divided by 10.50 giving us 
ஒன் லேக் ஷேர்ஸ் வில் இஷ்யூ ஒன் லேக் ஷேர்ஸ் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஷேர்ஸ் தேர் ஃபோர் வாட் வுட் பி தி என்ட்ரி ஹியர் என்ட்ரி வுட் பி வி வில் கிவ் வை லிமிட்டெட் அக்கௌண்ட் டெபிட் ஹேஸ் டு பி டென் லேக் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் டூ இக்விட்டி ஷேர் கேபிட்டல் சிச்சுட் அட் அ ப்ரீமியம் ஸோ டூ இக்விட்டி ஷேர் கேபிட்டல் டூ செக்யூரிட்டிஸ் ப்ரீமியம் ஹவு மச் வை லிமிடெட் டென் லேக் ஃபிஃப்டி டூ இக்விட்டி ஷேர் கேபிட்டல் இட்ஸ் ஒன் லேக் ஷேர்ஸ் ஆஃப் டென் ஈச் தேர் ஃபோர் தட்ஸ் டென் லேக் செக்யூரிட்டிஸ் ப்ரீமியம் ஒன் லேக் ஷேர்ஸ் இன்டூ ஃபிஃப்டி பேசே தட் இஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி தௌசண்ட் திஸ் வுட் பி தி அக்கௌண்டிங் என்ட்ரி another two examples x limited acquired machinery worth 10 lakh from y limited for a purchase consideration of 11 lakh so again we are paying more there is goodwill of 1 lakh the consideration is settled by the issue of 9% preference shares of 100 each at a premium of 10% pass journal entries acquired machinery worth 10 lakh therefore machinery account debit 10 lakh what is the amount due but it's 11 lakh so goodwill account debit 1 lakh being the difference to y limited 11 lakh now next the consideration is settled by the issue of 9% preference shares of 100 each at a premium of 10% so what do we do now what are the number of shares number of shares is equal to issue price sorry purchase consideration divided by issue price per share purchase consideration of 11 lakh divided by what is the issue price preference shares of 100 each premium of 10% i am talking of 110 100 plus 10 110 is the issue price therefore we are talking of how many shares here 10000 shares therefore what will be the entry for issue of 10000 shares to y limited for a premium of 10% entry is y limited account debit 11 lakh to 9% preference share capital how much 10000 shares into 100 each that is 10 lakh to securities premium how much would that be to securities premium would be again we've got 10000 shares into 10 per share or 1 lakh therefore the entry is tally machinery debit 10 lakh goodwill debit 1 lakh to y limited 11 lakh y limited debit 11 lakh to preference share capital 10 lakh to securities premium one one more let us consider at a discount x limited acquired a business of 10 lakh for a purchase consideration of 11 lakh again this is the same thing as far as the first part of the entry is concerned it is the same 10 lakh consideration of 11 lakh the consideration however is settled by the issue of 9% preference shares of 100 each at a discount of 20% past journal entries the first entry continues to be the same instead of machinery they have said acquired a business so we will say sundry assets debit 10 lakh to y limited 11 lakh therefore the difference would be goodwill debit 1 lakh so sundry assets debit 10 lakh goodwill debit 1 lakh to y limited 11 lakh next this is settled by the issue of 9% preference shares of 100 each at a discount of 20% so what is the issue price of a share issue price of the share is equal to 100 minus 20 20% discount equal to 80 so what is the number of shares issued it's equal to purchase consideration by issue price per share 
purchase consideration is 11 lakh divided by issue price per share of 80 giving us 13,750 shares giving us 13,750 shares. So what would be the entry? Shares are being issued to Y Limited for a discount of 20%. So Y Limited account debit. This has to be 11 lakh. At a discount, discount is a loss. Discount on issue of shares account debit. What is the amount? We we'll come to that too. 9% preference share capital. What is the amount of capital? Number of shares? 13,750. Face value per share? 100. Therefore, we are talking of 13,75,000. What is the discount amount? We are again talking of 13,750 shares. 13,750 shares into how much is the discount? 20. 13,750 into 20 giving us 2,75,000. So why limited debit 11 lakh, discount account debit 2,75,000 to 9% preference share capital 13,75,000.